Okay. Um, I so this game you absolutely pummeled Fura. Um, but I reckon you could have easily had ten times the amount of pressure that you wanted to this game, um, especially with your lead that you had. Uh, I know your team like so you're gonna get games where your team is just horrific. Like everyone was terrible at this game on your team. Um, and yeah, it might not have been winnable. You might have struggled, um, but you definitely could have had more of an impact uh, in this game. Um, okay. So, actually, what I want to do quickly, I want to just check the runes that you had. I like Grass into Fura. It's it's weird. So the Fura matchup, I like to take Conqueror if she's got Grass, and I like to take Grass if she's got Conqueror. Obviously, how the hell are you gonna know? You don't know. I feel like if you have Grasp and Fura has Grasp, you're going to struggle. Um, because obviously, like, the idea of Grasp is to poke. Uh, it's to play the lane slow, poke it out, conquer, you want it all in, right? Um, yeah. But if Fura's got Grasp as well, she hard wins the poke because it's so easy for her to proc Grasp with her Q, especially with her vitals, given her movement speed. Um, I feel like if you go, if you go conquer and she has Grasp and she, she runs Ignite, there's absolutely no way that you can get an advantage in the lane. Say that again? Like, she so if if you're running Conqueror, yeah, and she's running Grass Ignite, yeah, there's absolutely no way for you to get any advantage in the lane. There, there, hundred percent is. The Fiora matchup is all mind games. Um, okay, so your runes, I like this. I when I play Grasp, I don't like biscuits or I mean approach velocity is nice. I would much rather go more aggressive, right? Camille, especially you want you want a snowball, you want to get ahead. I would take I take. Uh, if I take a grass tree, I, I like this. I think second one's good into Fiora, um, because she's actually got a lot of poke damage. Um, and I like taking Alacrity and Triumph um, with double adaptive. Because you get extra attack speed, which will help you last hit under tower. Because I, you know, I was cringing a bit watching you try to last hit under tower. Um, yeah, you know, it yeah, helps I mean, my, yeah, my last hits that game were absolutely terrible, but that's not that's not indicative of my my farming. I, I usually average quite quite good yes. So yeah, I think that was just an, an off game in terms of last hit, last hits. I mean, if we look at like you got four point two, five point seven, six point nine, uh, seven point four, seven, you know, like seven is okay. Like Camille, especially with Reverence Hydra, you can easily get eight nine CS a minute. I think, um, especially if you're stomping lane. If you're behind in lane, fair play. You know, it's a struggle. But when you're stomping lane, you know. This this is really low, um, but okay. but yeah, I like I really like alacrity and triumph. It gives you more damage. Um, yeah, triumph is one of my favorite uh, runes because you know I love tower diving and it, the amount of time you get saved from a triumph uh, proc, you know, saving you under a tower tower dive. Um, but yeah, Fiora as well. I would also I also like starting Q. Um, you know, Fiora's not going to win. If you auto QQ, you don't have to wait for Q2, but if you just auto QQ in lane with passive, she's not going to win the level one. Like, you walk up here. I mean, I know you won the lane, but that's just... If you played against a better Fiora, you'd get hard punished here. Um, so, obviously, you have, you know, the trick with Fiora. If you, if you have a bad vital, you can walk out and respawn it. Sometimes it's not always optimal. Um, so, like, if you're going to start W, I would want my W to farm these three minions. Because she's gonna win. She's gonna win the all in, like no matter what. So you W her here. If she was good, you know she should be looking to run behind you, get some vital procs. You shouldn't really be able to farm these like that freely. Um, but like you have a grass okay. proc, you have a grass proc, you have a really good vital, and you're running away from her. Like when you a situation like this, she's not gonna get the movement speed from the vital. You have a grass up, you have passive. Did you take shield bash? Yeah, you did. So you, yeah, have, did. you even have a shield bash proc. Um, you know, we're not using it. And now our vital's in a bad spot. Yeah, we traded. We got a nice vital. Unlucky that we didn't hit that. Um, but, you know, we're taking... We're not taking good trades. If we had Q here, like, you've hit her once or twice with a W, one with an inner, which doesn't count, really, and one with the outer part of the W. That's minimal damage for it. You're not... You haven't used your W to farm because you're in a bad matchup, you know, where you need to farm the, the three melees with your W. Every time she's gone in here, you could have auto QQ'd and she'd be, she'd be re like really low on health, you know. Um, I see. Okay. And then this is really poor, you know. Obviously, you want to be paying attention to level two. Yeah. To who when when someone's going to hit level two, 
you know, you're lucky that you have a vital up here. If you had a vital here, or and if she had ignite, you'd be dead. Um, yeah. Especially because you don't run flash. But it's not the end of the world being, you know, because your W gives you sustain, it, you heal up. Um, you know, I'd look to W this minion. You know, you you want to get as much as much as you can under tower. Um, yeah. So take you here. Hopefully, I think you do. Yeah. Farming under tower. Nice. I mean, she That's is just really inting here. Right, yeah. this, this, okay, I remember watching, I remember this bit. You let her live here. There's zero reason you let her live here. I think you're, you're scared. Um, so you, you didn't level up E. Look at her health. Yeah. Right, she is, obviously she has parry. You know, the, you, you know, the many tricks. Well. Yeah, that's fine. You know, you know, the many tricks with your, you know, Camille Machado. I've seen you, you E on the wall and you wait. That's good. You know, that's what you want to do. You want to bait out her parry. Um, you don't, I'm not saying you have to do that there, but like if you had E hit, like you do a trade like that, she she's dead. You're thinking she's dead, right? Yeah. She has to parry one of the ignite ticks. If you had yeah. E, you run after her. You run after her. She's par she's parrying right now. You can see her shadow. She's just parrying just this little bit here. Yeah. yeah. If you had E, you run after that. You've got a kill there. She has to stop moving. You know you played way too yeah. passive. That that was really painful. You didn't even get the cannon. Um, <laughs> yeah, you leveled was, Q, you yeah. leveled Q up twice. Yeah. You know. Uh, Fiora has TP, yeah. right? Yeah, she has TP. There's nothing really to buy here. I hate going back on Camille without getting Sheen. Like, first back, it's really painful. What's what's Camille's biggest weakness in lane? Wait there. Wait there, good. So, yeah. what's the most important thing to, to take note of as a Camille player, then, when you're playing? Uh, wave management. Wave and, management, uh, yeah. Back, yeah. And back times. Yeah. yeah, so wave management is so important. Like, this is... This is really poor. This CS thing, you know, like yeah. you have an auto I reset. Normally, I don't normally do this. I, I just I think that was just enough game yeah. in terms of CS. Yeah. You have an auto reset, which you've even put two points into. You know, like you should really be lost in a lot of these. Like you should be on twenty CS by now. Um, yeah. At yeah. least. But you let's be honest. You're low on health. You're never gonna get back in time for Sheen. Exactly. Um, yeah. If you're struggling in a Fiora matchup. I'm not kidding. Rushing a Bramble Vest or like having a Sheen into Bramble Vest is really not bad because let's let's compare Bramble Vest to Executioners, for example. Executioners applies when you hit them. Bramble applies when they hit you. Fiora is going to be poking you with Q and healing up if she hits vitals. If, she, if you have Bramble, it's going to cut her healing up, right? Like, it's a lot easier for you to deny her healing because that's like Fiora is probably one of her biggest strengths. Um, but like here, I'd either recall for a cloth armor or I'd, you know, recall get a long sword. Like this wave here, it stopped right in front of your tower. You, it's nowhere in hell you're gonna push this in time. She's got TP. She's gonna TP back. You recall here. You don't miss any of these. You maybe miss, you miss this 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 range one here. If you're recalling here, it's eight seconds to recall. Don't know why you're pushing this here. You know, you're not. Why why are you wanting the wave to slow push towards her? I don't know. You know, when you're one HP. That was my idea there. My logic was that she's gonna she's gonna TP back. Therefore, I'm gonna use my passive to get the trade in before I TP back, so that I can get her a little bit lower anyway. Okay, but you don't have E. No. What if she came in, just queued into you with W, slowed you? Like, you're missing the minions that you should have an easy freeze. You're playing one versus zero and you're not farming. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, you're down. You know, it's. They say I think it's like eight. I think it's like seventeen, eighteen CS is a kill. I think it works out to be right. Something like that. But no, um, even less than that, probably. Oh, I mean, you have ten. Yeah, but I think it's like you have a cannon as well. But it's like, yeah, yeah, you have three hundred gold. You have ten CS. Imagine you had twenty CS here. You have a recall. You have a sheen. Yeah, which is yeah. What you should have. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but you you should not be hitting this wave. You know, you want you want to you want to take a trade, but why is why is taking a trade with a champion that has sustain in a kit better than having a good recall? So that you don't even get these minions. Like, right? You're too low to contest any of these creeps now. Imagine you you're up you're back, you TP'd back because you had a really good wave. You know, you're able to freely farm these minions. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. Like so now you recall. 
So instead of just missing that one melee that I mentioned before, if you remember, yeah, or the one ranged, you're now missing all of those creeps that were there because you somehow failed to last at them anyway. And then you're missing an entire wave here, and you still have to TP back because your wave's in the shit spot, right? Okay. Yeah, your yeah. team is pissing, but you could have easily have an extra 400 gold, 300 gold, 400 gold with a better wave state at this point. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so you buy, you buy um. Longsword, yeah, that's probably the best buy you could do. It sucks because, you know, Camille's not really a champion before Sheen. Um, yeah, bad vital. Not much you can do. Your wave's so pushing. Yeah, but you should easily be able to last at this. Yeah, I guess I... last, last beating a bit better now. <laughs> yeah, but obviously, you, you know the thing. Like, you don't you don't W Fiora if she's got Q up. You know, you wait for her to Q you, and then you W her on the back. Because otherwise, she'll dodge or W every time by queuing into you. Yeah. Um, Okay, so let's just watch what happens here. I know you, you do get a couple of kills. I still feel like you played a couple of the fights quite poorly. Um, I think there's a point where, she, I'm not sure if she was three levels below you or just two. Um, here you could have had a quick E. When she was next to the wall, you could have had a quick E um, for a trade. You know, obviously you have vital. Okay, so let's watch this part again. I'm being very like, Picky, you know, nitpicky. That one, go ahead. That's um, that's the kind of thing I need. Because yeah. I saw in these games, yeah, you won lane, but I feel like you could have stomped lane, like really stomped lane. Um, okay, so you have bad vital here. You're just gonna say fuck it, tank it, but you get a shield bash proc. It's fine. That's a pretty weak W. You know, you could have had another auto there. Your autos do more damage than an inner W. But you have, you see the vital coming here. You're healthy. You have. One cannon minion, one, two, three, four, five casters, which do the most damage. You just run to this wall. If you just run straight to this wall, she can't proc this vital. She's tanking. That's easily, what, 60, 70 damage every time all these minions hit at once. You know? Like, she's not going to heal off that vital. You hug, you hug this wall. Instead, you, you know, you let her proc that vital. You could have, if you just, if you just run down here, she's not hitting that vital. She's going to tank all of this. She's not going to get that heal. She's not going to get that damage. Uh, you would hard win the trade. Or at the very least, when she's here, she, you're both close enough for her not to react to any, you know? She's not, gonna, yeah. she's not going to react here. Yeah, you're still close to the wall here. I can see you're considering it. She's too far now. She could probably react to the time it takes you to get there. So therefore, you lost a really big trade where you could have stomped the trade and either killed her or had her low enough for a dive because your wave is slow pushing, you know? Kumu yeah, was very yeah, good yeah. at diving with her passive. The wave is slow pushing. You, what I'm thinking is here: I either want to kill her or I want to dive her on this wave so she misses all of this because this is this is a game changer amount of like minions, right? Yeah. You know, she's just she's just entered. She's completely entered. She's running into the bush. She's not running down. Please say you walk up an ear here. Yeah, you could have you could have eat on her. You could have got a low. Yeah, you're probably not going to kill her. You get a low. She's got no W. Your E's got half a cooldown of her W. This wave is pushing. She's 100% dead on the next dive. The next time you're ease up. Are you going there? Good. This is good. Where is she going? I don't know. She is really griefing. Okay, nice. Good. So here, you're going to push. You la hopefully, you last hit everything here. And you get Sheen. You get enough Sheen and you recall instantly. Cool, you've got Sheen Gold, recall. You just stop here, you recall here. It takes eight seconds to Why? recall. Okay? Your minions Why? aren't going to stop you. Why? Why not? You have Sheen. Why would you stay? Yeah, but she's got no GP. That's a free plate. So what's that plate going to give you? What are you going to do with that extra 150 gold? If you needed that 150 gold for Sheen, yeah, sure. Good. Why do you need that plate now? A better recall here is... You can get, you is... Can get why do you need refillable? Refillable, we've got Giga nerfed. It's such a bad item. If you're winning lane, why do you need to, to waste your money on sustain? Yeah, potions are good. I agree. It's not worth a bad recall. It takes eight seconds to recall. Let's say you just you stopped. You press B here. You're back at base at five twenty six. You're staying for this for this plate. Yeah, she's got no TP. Unless your jungler is coming up here for a dive and you kill her between towers, there's no reason to stay here. Yeah, that's. You'd be, back in, yeah. you'd, you'd be back in base now at 5.26. It's 5.18 I said to start the recall. Yeah. yeah. You'd be back in base. You'd be running back. 
and you'd you'd be back at bay you'd be back in lane just after her you know you're running for I some see. reason you're running all the way all the way over here you're now going to get base back at base at 540 that's 20 seconds 20 seconds difference she's now back in lane you know yeah, that makes sense, man. Yeah, yeah. So I, you, I remember you, get your ref, you get your yeah. shield, you get your refill. You've got to wait for your mana. So you're now leaving base at 546 rather than 526. So that's literally a 20 seconds gap. If she, if this was a champion like Riven or uh, Daria or someone with wave clear, you'd end up losing this wave. Luckily, Fiora's not got very good wave clear either, so you're okay. But if this was a champion with wave clear, yeah, you get the plate, but you lose the XP. You, get, you lose more gold from the wave. Yeah. Um... But yeah, you'd be back in lane right now. You know, you'd have the prio. You'd be you'd be able to do what you wanted to do. Hecarim was top side. You know, if you recalled and came back, Hecarim might have been waiting to choose. You know, you could have impacted what your jungler does here. Um. So yeah, like you, if you needed that plate gold for an item, it's good. It's a good idea to stay. You know, you want the sheen. You don't want to. You don't want to have a second base without sheen. Definitely not. Yeah. You know. Okay, here. We don't know where their jungler is. Your wave is slow pushing to you. You don't have TP. Don't want to risk anything. You know, hopefully you don't E in here. You don't, you know, you have no vision. There's some nice trades. This is good. Okay, I mean, that's fine. You can, if you're running up to a Furo with Q2 ready, she's probably going to parry it. You know, you can yeah. kind of bait it a little bit. But you have a perfect wave stay right here. I'd be spamping my jungler to like run top. Spamping my R. I have really good wave state. Okay, don't need my jungler. Good. Right. Camille's biggest weakness. Wave clear. You know. What do we want to recall? What, what, what item do we want on that? Let's recall. We either want Kindle Gem or we want to get, what's it called? Warhammer. Corfu's Warhammer. Uh, Corfu's, yeah. I think that's 750. 750, yeah. I don't have one have gold left. Yeah. So, cool. I'd want to thin this wave out and I'd want to keep it frozen here and I'd want to get a recall when I've got enough of my item. So, it'd be this. Into this. Probably... And I'd, I'd recall here. I'd recall right now. Hopefully you do the same. No, what are you doing? Why are you running back? Your wave is frozen. It's a cannon wave. This wave isn't going anywhere. Fiora doesn't have TP. She can't get back to this wave in time. You're wasting so much time. You, ha you, know, you have enough gold for your item right now. You're not getting Sundra. There's no way you're going to stay for Sundra. You're last hitting, so you're keeping the wave frozen. So why don't you keep it frozen, but give yourself the advantage by, getting, by spending your gold? Why are, you, why are you waiting in lane with 800 gold? Your jungle is nowhere near. You're not going to kill as soon as she gets back to lane. Yeah, you had a good kill. It was good. You, you're winning your lane, but you're not pushing your, your lead far enough. You know, now, now she's back in lane. What items has she got? Like, you've got not, you've got almost 1,000 gold on you. That's three kills, and you haven't spent. Yeah, you know? She's got a Warhammer. So she's spent... Um, 1100 yeah. 1, worth of items and you've got 700 you've got less money worth of items on her on you as she than she does yeah you've got the level advantage but you're exactly the same strength right now in terms of items you see what i'm saying yeah 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 so now if their jungle's top you're 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 low you gave you gave fiora the chance to farm this when she got back if you recalled when i said you could have come back and you you were two levels above her with a huge item advantage, and you could have said, yeah, you're not getting any of this CS. I'm going to keep the wave frozen here, you know. You could have had the wave frozen at this point, denied her all the CS, not let her play the game. You would hopefully be on, you know, 55 to 60 CS at this point, if you're <laughs> farming properly and freezing, and you know. But you give her a free crash, for some reason. Okay, let's take another tower. Don't know why you ran so far from that minion there. Okay, I mean it's not the, not the worst. Okay, but yeah, so now you're giving her, you know, you're on lane with half health. You have four kills worth of gold that you're not spending. I think she's not parrying it for some reason, and she's queuing. If this was a good Fiora, you know, you'd be you'd be out the game here. She's not parrying anything for some reason. I think she's waiting. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think she's she's thinking of like baiting or something. 
Okay, so you eat in here. Tower, yeah. Yeah, oh, I, was, I was close to tower, so I, I, I deliberately did that because she can't. It doesn't matter. You have no vision. What if Shaco's in the tribush? You just said to me that you think she's baiting or something. What if Shaco's yeah, in the tribush? Yeah. You're stunned, you get one shot. 100% you're dead there. I think I remember this actually. You let your Hecarim die here in this 2v2. So Hecarim just ghosted in, you can hear it. You know? Yeah. Oh, can you wait? Can you hear? I don't know if you. Do I, am I showing? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she is dead here, 100. percent You have passive. You've. She's just parried, so you know for a fact she has no W. Where are you running? What are you doing? Yeah, you know, she's turning. Hecarim is so low on health now. You could have eat. You should have eaten her. You know, you missed your. Okay, I missed my quick shot here. Yeah. Why do you need to hookshot her? She's slow. Or, you know, you just you just queued. You should have auto queued there. She's dead for sure. Or you should have just you should have just queued queued. Otherwise, you know, like you don't need to wait for the queue too. Just walk up and queue queue. Okay. Um. Yeah. So what you ended up here is you let Hecarim lose three quarters of his health for no reason because you're waiting back here. You know, she has no. She's weak. She has no W. Why is Hecarim having to fight a bruiser on his own? You know, you know, you play bruises. I saw you, OP. You know, you know that they're notorious for turning fights when they're low on health. They're champions. Yeah. Great duelist, especially Fura. You walk up here, you've just queued her. Queue her again. Why are you not queue? Why are you not reactivating queue instantly here? Yeah. Why did you? Why did no, you yeah. eat? Wait, you know, waste your mana. You know, and E. And now you had to waste ult. Now you've got no mana. Hecarim dies to Shaker here, I think. Yep. Yeah. yeah. This guy wouldn't have died here. Your wave is now in a really shit spot again. You have no mana to contest this. You know, oof, if he was a tiny bit more fed, you would have died. You have no mana contest to contest the wave, you lose another wave. That's one more wave gone. And this all stems from you not buying when you... Imagine you bought and then bullet the Fuhrer like you did before. She probably would have died before Hecarim even got there. Hecarim wouldn't have died, Shaka wouldn't have got a kill. You lose this entire wave for nothing. Okay. Again. Um, yeah, what do we buy? Yeah, Sandra. I like Sandra into Fura. I think it's good. You know, but look, Fura is 0-3. We're 3-0. We're only 10 CS ahead of her. How is that happening? How are we only 10 CS ahead of a snowball bruiser matchup when we're killing her this many times? Do you see what I mean? We should have... Yeah. Your bot lane is getting dumpstered, but the Ash is also 30 CS ahead. That's what we... That's, that's what the situation we should be in. Okay, okay, yeah. How about, you know, uh, just, just a question here, out of curiosity. Uh -huh. um, but obviously, I'm playing against Shaco. Yep. Would you would you still, you know, would you still be able to push that kind of advantage versus Shaco, considering that, you know, he can basically spam gank and you, you can't see him coming? Well, what, what advantage are you talking about pushing? You're, you had your lane advantage, you could have kept your wave frozen at your tower, for uh -huh. several minutes, Shaco can't do anything against that except for come and push the wave, which gives your team relieves your team from pressure from getting ganked because Fiora can't push that wave without Shaco's help when you're two levels ahead with 900 gold ahead, you know. But instead, you're okay. not spending your money, you're ruining your own wave state, and you're letting Fiora at least get money. You know, she shouldn't be able to get any gold this game um, yeah. from the lead that you had early. Yeah, I'm not saying permanently push and diver, but you know, you could definitely deny Fiora. Yeah, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Um, but I mean, Shaka only had lucidity boots as well at this point. He's going AP, he's very weak early. You know. Okay, Fiora's fucked the wave. She can't do anything. I'd either look to go in for a kill here because we're a, lot of, we're a hell of a lot of gold ahead. Or again, just not let her farm this cannon wave. You know? I wish I could see how many grass procs you put this game because I feel like if you had, you know, I, I I mean, my grasp's up. I'm looking to walk up and poker. At least yeah. the very okay. least I'm doing is giving myself HP. Yeah. You know, especially when you're stomping lane. You know, I like that you're denying her here. Hopefully, you don't let this wave crash. I don't think so. 
Nice, wait. Okay, good. Got a flash. Perfect. Then you let her get the proc after. Two minutes, don't they? I'm not sure. Can't but she's got no parry. Good. Fine. You have Sundra here. Recall. You know? Or, we know that enemy mid's dead and the tower, Shaco spot, we can hard shove. So you either recall here or you hard shove. I think you end up doing neither. I think you end up slow pushing and then recalling. Yeah, so you recall on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is going to slow push. Shaco is diving your bot. Enemy mid's dead. Fura is dead. She has no TP. Or if she does have TP, you're going to force it. But here, she doesn't even need to TP here. I think she does have TP because you have it at the same time. Yeah. But she doesn't need to TP to this wave. And now you need to TP. Because your wave's fucked. Y you know, you could either... If I, uh, one, sec, one, one question. If I had recalled when I had the 700 gold, which was, uh, you know, like 10 seconds before I pushed the wave, would you be able... Would you be TPing or not? It's like, as soon as I kill them. Here. Here. Okay, so... One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six minions against one, two, three, four. This minion's almost dead. I'd... Let's wait. I mean, I wouldn't have instantly gone to kill this. I would have last hit this. Last hit this. And then I would recall here, yeah. This minion wave is going to catch up. And then these minions are going to die anyway, so Fura won't get them. Instead, you start pushing it. You know, yeah, I would have recalled there. I know for a fact my champion can't push the wave fast. If she's got TP, there's no point. But since you're committed, you have to commit. Like you said, you have passive. You know, what you wanted to do earlier was get a trade off and then recall out, you know. Um, so, yeah, you, you, you've ended up either wasting your TP or at least, at the very least, not trading TP for TP. That's it. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. So we're back in lane. We have to TP our waves. You know, we missed an entire wave there. We just missed. That was the end of that entire wave we just missed. You know, Fura is walking back to lane here. And look how, look what we're giving her. We're presenting her with this entire wave coming under tower. I'm saying, here you go, Fura. You can have 200 gold. Or whatever this, you know. If yeah. she doesn't agree for it. Okay, we have huge prio. Fura can't contest this. This fight should be so easy for us. He had to E out. Or uh, Q out, sorry. Okay, this is just a mechanical thing. You know Vex has fear. Yeah. Uh, let's watch this again. Right, that's the ability coming out. Wait on the wall here. This is going to fly past you. You, you. you tried to instantly react. I, it's fine, you know, that's just, I, I think that's just, you know, that just happens, that's just shit, unless I'm lucky, I mean. Um, you know that's the clone, because you just saw him go invisible. Fura's griefing, she was stunned, you didn't need to fake it. You're wasting your ult on the 0-4 Fiora. You know, she's not a champion, I'm pretty sure Vex is a bounty, Shaco's a bounty. I'm trying to... You press tab so quick, it's hard to see. So I pick. Uh, that's, that's just a, that, that's just a bad habit. They press it just like. Yeah, yeah I mean that's fine. I'm just trying to trying to pause it when you press it so I can see the scoreboard. But I'd be pinging my team back here. I'm no longer in the fight. My wave's good. I want to try and get some plates. Or again, I want to freeze. Um, or you could be you could be babysitting your team here, making sure that they don't die because your wave is in a really good spot. It's slow pushing back. You've got easily 20, 30 seconds before your wave hits your tower. At least. You know? Looks like a fight's happening yeah. mid. Yeah, you can't, you know, you can't mind control your team. Maybe you could have been there because your wave's fine. Or at the very least, spam ping them back. You know, I see, I know you play Mutal, but, you know. So now Fura's had to TP. Yeah, that was a better idea to push it because Hacker was... Pushing it's fine. I don't have nothing wrong with pushing it. You forced a TP. Um, I think it's, it's fine to push. Okay, nice. You wasted Shekhar's Ignite and you got out. The wave slow push into you. You're still, the game is still in a good spot. It's annoying to have a Janna. Janna's a really annoying champion to play against. Um, yeah, the, uh, you know, the 
Dog Girl were a big deal of two mates, so yeah. you know, they were quite well coordinated. <laughs> yeah. But Shaco is probably still top. We wouldn't need to be careful. He doesn't have Ignite. But we can still walk up and pressure her. You know, that could have been a Q2 on her there. Yeah. No, just misclick. Yeah. Um, Shaco's mid. Fucking don't let her play the game. Kill this bitch right now. You're right, you're playing way, way too passive. You're two levels above her. You have your Sundra, you know. Oh dear, this is you die here. Actually, uh, turn around for some. Yeah, that sometime. was really messily played, you know. Yeah, yeah. Really poorly. You should not be, you should not be four and zero with item advantage. Still being pressured by Zera for Fura. Okay, but luckily she's a griefer. You don't need to. Mm. Oof. Okay. Uh, recall. Wave's good again. No, now wave's not good. You killed two minions. Wave's not good. Now it's gonna slow push again. Your biggest problem, it feels like, is wave management. Your champion is so yeah. bad at pushing waves. Nine times out of ten, I'm not pushing a wave, unless I have to for an item, or I see everyone else in the map, or you know, I can ease. I know I can push it in. But I mean, game's looking rough here. You're still five and zero. You could you could be 120 CS at least. You know you could have you could have Ravenous Hydra at this point. I reckon. No, no chance. Uh, Ravenous is like 3,400 gold. If you think about a it, more, a lot you, more CS. If that. you think, yeah, okay. If you think about it, you've got at least 40 more CS, right? That's three kill. That's 900 gold. That's a thousand. Okay, so maybe you'd have Warfield's go hammer, but you'd also be applying pressure in the sense that. You'd either have Shaco not not permanently killing your bot lane and coming top to help Fiora push the wave. You'd have Fiora be down even more CS and she's already on. You know, there's so many other factors to it. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. No, um, it makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Because again, this wave is slow pushing, but now we have Tiamat, we can hard shove this. So that's what we want to do. We don't. We can't freeze. We have Tiamat, We can't freeze now. Good for hard shoving. Okay, nice. I'd be spamping in Drake, because Drake's coming up in 30 by the looks of it. 30 something. We have three top. This Drake should be ours. I mean, they can't get bot tower, because Ash is still up, and Ash is strong enough to 1v2. But, you guys can easily do Drake. Hecarim is running top for some reason. So we know this Sheko top. He's a bounty. That's who we want to kill. We really want to kill Shaco. It's really important. Oof! I don't know what that he was. I didn't want. <laughs> We're wasting our ult on the Fiora. So they're recalling because Drake's coming up. And we're using... Uh, like... I know you get a kill. It's not worth ulting the Fiora at this point. If you think about what else is going on on the map, you know, you saw Shaco recall because he wants Drake. Yeah, you get a tower. It's not first tower. I think it's better, to be honest, to. Okay, they're not even doing Drake. Or are they? Shaco wasn't. Oh, they're not on Drake right now. You wait, why you. You do this a lot. No one's on the map. Why are you spending five, six, seven seconds running to the nearest bush to recall when you could just recall in the middle of the lane? No one's going to stop you. You know? I know it might only seem like five, six, seven seconds, but that five, six, seven seconds, you could walk from here to the end of your base. Same. You know? Okay. Yeah. You yeah, have yeah. you wasting your TP earlier. You don't have TP to come for this dragon fight. It's just been a one for one, jungle for mid. You're really strong. You should have had ult here because you shouldn't have wasted on Fura. You could have had huge impact on this dragon play. Now you guys are in no position to fight dragon. You know you could have TP'd early. You're running down now, even though there's no chance you can make it. It's, it's just small things. You have a lead. You want to use your lead early before it gets to the point where Ash... Yeah, she's 5-0, but before it gets to the point where she's 10-0, 11-0, where it's unmanageable. You know? Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I have no idea what that guy's doing. Okay...
You're picking it. You're picking Ash, but what's uh, what's Ezra going to do here? Okay, this is really brief. You know that. Okay. If they AP Shaco, I hate playing Camille into AP Shaco. But if there's an AP Shaco standing here, you must have seen sign ups, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if a guy, if, a, if you have an enemy has an AP check and they're just running around in circles, basically begging you to E onto him, there's going to be a reason for it. You even saw him place this trap. We literally just saw him place this one. And we, <laughs> we E straight over it. You know, we saw him place that one. Um, your fear yeah, so you can't was, instantly yeah. go in. I think I was getting tilted at that, that point, honestly. Just... Yeah, tilt. Yeah, tilt happens. Um,. You could have reactivated Q here, you didn't. What happened here? I think you might actually be able to kill Shaker here. Your Q2's up. I, I think that's a Ah, you got yeah. two Edo, that's unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky. <laughs> Do you get out here? Oh, unlucky. No. Okay. Alright, I mean, a bit of a misplay there. We shouldn't have died there. If we were alive there, Ezra probably wouldn't have died either because I feel like we baited him. With that, Ian. Uh, we we might not have lost mid tower, or you know, Syndra might have, you know, there'll be two of us defending it. Syndra comes down, at the very least, we don't lose this much damage to this second mid tower. Yeah, yeah. Syndra gets a 1k bounty, that's huge. Don't know why she went crown. This is big. Hopefully, we get Rift Herald here on our team. Let's recall a bit, because we don't care about what our team is doing, we care about what we're doing. Okay. Uh, did we TP here? Okay, so we, we E and then we TP. So we don't have E after our TP. Okay, let's see how we play this. Okay. I flew quite well fun actually. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's fine. Try and get, Try and get out, of, out of base as quickly as possible. Yeah, I, I mean, but I E out of base as well, for sure. But we saw yeah. that there was a fight and, and going then, on. And then I don't look quickly enough before I TP to assess the situation actually. Yeah. But, uh, okay, that's something to improve on. That's something to look at. Let's see what's yeah. going on. You could, you should have. Yeah. Like, it's back to this Hecarim gank top lane where you let him die. You saw him running in. You should have. You know, Fiora was two levels down on you. You shouldn't have let him get that low to the point where he dies and gives AP Shaco another kill. Yeah. Because AP okay. Shaco is really bad into your comp. You have ranged, ranged, ranged. AP Shaco is only good into you and Hecarim. And even okay. so, Hecarim has an unstoppable ult. You know. Um, so. AP Shaco getting kills here is really tragic. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I think I just kind of like stabbed from my split from now on. What is she doing? She's tapped out. <laughs> yeah. Nice. We were wasting. Oh, like you, you've got some vendetta against Fiora. Like, we're just permanently killing Fiora. We're not. What is that doing for our team? Okay. We're the only one with the lead. Why are we permanently killing Fiora? Or I, I, get, I get to push the tower. I think. That's, that was my logic. I, I needed to guard and take uh, so that she... But uh, she... you either kill her without ult, or if you don't kill her, she's 1 HP. She can't defend the tower anyway. She's not worth using your ult on. Well, she was worth 300 gold somehow. Maybe she got a kill. But either way... I don't know why Vegas here. Yeah. But imagine you had ult here now. Check those bot sides. Should just recall here. Why are you staying? He's gonna just eat you, right? And you're dead. I think uh, they got actually kills for some. I mean, they died for it, but yeah. But I mean, you shouldn't be dying. Okay, one for one. Sheko's really fed. It's not that bad, but you didn't. They didn't have to be a one for one. Um, go ahead again. Yep. Oh, she's that, that, that that's me really tilted kind of you're really tilted. but all you're doing is just permanently killing the intel you're not you're not helping your team out here you had to, you had, you've wasted your tp at several points where you could have used it because it was after 14 minutes you know you could have had an impact you could have tp flanked oh. early you could have you could have had your ult instead of ulting on the use of fura who's not worth your ult okay so okay so you're in this situation say you know you could have could have played it a lot better, as, as you said, and could have been a lot, a lot more ahead. But uh, we've got an Ash, an AP Shaco, and a Janna. So how do I kill the Ash? 
well, you you wait for them to slip up. You TP behind on a flank, you know. There are. I'm not saying it's very easy. Like it's gonna happen. If you TP behind on a flank, uh, Janna's not gonna have to queue you before you E onto the ash, you know, because she's, they're not gonna be expecting it. Um, yeah, you might get out of the way. You might also, you know, luck out your ult timing and ult over the Janna ult. At very least, you trap the fed ash inside your ult so that your Hecarim can ult in, your Syndra can hit a QE, your Vagar's got a free cage. At least the fed ash with a huge bounty is in your ult or is getting, you know, the problem with your champion into their champs, you can't E. If, if they see you, they have Shaker boxes, they have Janna Q, you can't E in, right? Yeah. But if you're behind them, at least you can get your ult on the ash. And then you've got Hecarim Engage, Syndra QE, Vagar Cage, you know? Like, you've got other ways to lock them down after. Okay, uh, another question. Can I just not perma split and win the game? It's uh, black after all. I mean, if you were 10 CS a minute, being able to 1v2, 1v3, yeah, you're not able to. You're really behind on CS. They're champions, bit unfortunate. Um, they have hard engage with Vex. Um, yeah, Vex and uh, Ash ult, uh, yeah. Yeah, so you you, you got to be careful. It depends on the champs, right? But if you're able to 1v3, yeah, 1v2, you know, like the champion can. I, you know, I don't know. Like I like split pushing. I like playing that way. I like going 10 CS a minute and just pushing, applying pressure, 1v2, 1v3. Um we're eing in. Dragons, Dragons, this is a really risky E. Dragons are almost up. We don't know where they are. Uh, they're obviously going to be bot side. We have no vision anywhere here. Ah, uh -huh. uh, we waste out on her. Right, Dragons just about to spawn and we waste out on this bitch again. <laughs> you know? Yeah, just, and I we're getting chunked. We're getting chunked. How, how is this fight even. How are we losing half of our health before the dragon fight to this useless Fuhrer? You know? It's a fight to fight the armor. She's so far with this fight. She's just, yeah. You just, you just hate Fury so much, you just need to keep wasting your ult on her. She's 1 in 10 and you're ulting her. And now you but have you no know, ult for this fight. I, I thought, I thought you know, if I can make the, the fight 4v5, you mean, it's, 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 it's worth it. It's 4v5 anyway. Fury is not a champion, but we're wasting ult on her. Your ult you, is, is the yeah. only way you can get onto Ash. Your ult is more important than Fury's life at this point. Yeah, okay, yeah, you know, how you got she's in a mobile ADC with like a Hecarim inted, but if you had ult hit, okay, Vex counter inted, okay. I mean, this fight is now winnable if we had ult. We have Syndra, we play it slow with Syndra. I think she just ulted the clone. Oh, we know, no, no. okay, good. Janna saved us, and Syndra saved us, yeah, okay. Oh, she's, she flashed. Oh, yeah. But if we had ult, she can't flash. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm not saying we would have won the fight. I'm saying it would have been a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the game's getting very much almost over at this point. We're giving up. We gave up all these objectives when we had TP for two of them, or at least an ult for them, you know. Um, I think we can go through the further points of this game. I feel like we could have had an extra 70 CS at least. I feel like we could have used our ult to kill... You know, even just a run bot really, and take the Ash that, bounty. That's, really useful. that's that's actually really useful. Yeah, I think I think after this point, I think I'm. I was just. I, yeah. I couldn't see a way. Like kind of I couldn't override. see a way to, Look to up, win anyway. Going back here, eleven minutes in, we're four and zero. Oh, we have our item. We have a huge wave. We slow push this. We recall and we just run bot without killer. Fura might get one, two plates. Who cares about that? You know what I mean? Like, we're going to get a 1k bounty. Who cares? If Fura gets a little bit of gold, it's fine. We want to stop the Ash from snowballing. That's another thing you could do. Um, See, that's that's the thing I just don't think about, honestly. Like, uh, you know, I feel like giving up plates to somebody that's behind, especially if it's a pusher, is a really bad idea. And that's that's what I've seen from a lot of commentaries from, you know, top lane and coaches. I mean, yeah, it's not it's not great, but if your team, if your entire team is getting shit stomped, I'd much rather I'd much rather allow my enemy top laner to you know farm a couple of waves, maybe get a couple of plates, and for me to get a one k bounty plus to tilt their bot lane. If I'm running, if I'm not even TPing, if I'm roaming bot at minute twelve with ult, and I'm still piss ahead of my top laner, my ADC is gonna be like ADC is they have the mental of a fucking potato. Like they're gonna be so angry. Like you know, yeah. Like yeah. or you could be spamping in Hecarim, say I have ult, I'll reset tower aggro. You know we can dive this. Even if my bot lane is behind, we can dive this because I'm pissed ahead. Your Hecarim, your champion's broke. You know, like, there's so many things we yeah. can do. Um, yeah. 
I love running. If my team's if like if it looks like the game's over because my entire team's inting, why why not flip it? Why not run bot and hope for a one k bounty? Um, okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's go through this one a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that this this one. Is... This game tilted me. I watched a lot of this. This game should have been over so quickly. Well, this is what happens to me ninety percent of the time. I I don't out my for them. Uh, I don't. I'm not saying I play perfect or anything, but. I up like with them, or I get some sort of advantage and then, and then I just, I get hard camped a lot. Yeah. And so I, it's really difficult for me to deal with it mentally, because yeah. I feel like if Camille falls behind, she's, she's really useless. Yeah, Camille falls behind is not great. Um... Yeah, so that's, that's the kind of game that I really like advice on, because I felt like it was winnable. It, we were like 10 or 15 kills ahead overall. So you were, you were so like you were like seventeen kill, thirty two kills to seventeen or something I think at this point at one point, but um, yeah, okay. I mean, why why grasp into gangplank? Like you're not poking gangplank. You're all in in gangplank. That's how you're gonna beat him. Um, take conqueror. Take alacrity. Take you know attack speed. Just all in him. Conqueror. It, you know this champion pokes you out. You don't poke him out. Um, I, I just think because because I like the inspiration tree uh, why? as well. So. Why? Does, what does the inspiration tree like? You can what what does the inspiration extra, tree give? Extra, extra sustain. What, what's sustain? I like the Biscuit, biscuits are shite. You, you know, you're on conqueror alacrity. You're gonna kill him. Why? Is, you know, like you're clearly better than these people. You're winning lane against them. Why not stump lane? Why not it's give yourself bad. that advantage to kill them even more? Um. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so maybe I'll be honest, like level level two or something. Yeah, I think I, I think you did. I, I, I think I played pretty well around you know grasp and uh, road velocity and etc. Not take not letting him take too much, uh, you know, not giving him too many free cues etc. But at the same time, farm these. Yeah. Okay, I mean in your hair as well. This is fun. What's he? He really goes to queue that minion. On Ape. He has Ignite Flash, right? I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, most GPs are fucking terrible. Um, I've played against one GP, uh, what's his name? Vertigo? I don't know if you've heard of him. Um, no, not really. He's the only GP that's really made me, like, have a miserable life. Oh god, this is... You're lucky you didn't take an extra damage up there. But nice kill. He has no way of DPing back. He's fucked. Um... You can get a huge advantage out of Silas, the same thing here as well. Uh, yeah, you kill Silas here as well, I remember. The yeah, game should be over at this point, bro. The game should be over at this point. Your mid even killed. He can't get to there. <laughs> that was actually such a funny kill. Yeah, he's going to just easy hit the minion, yeah, and then doesn't even W. Yeah, okay, he's a complete griefer. The game is over. Yeah. You have 1050, that's Sheen Longsword. Yeah. Okay, so. What do you buy? Sheen refill. Why do you TP back? You don't need to TP back here. The, you know he's not going to get the wave crash in time. You don't, you don't need to waste your TP again. You yeah, but okay. So what, one kind of conflicting bit, uh, piece of advice I'm getting is that you know TP is there for a reason. There's absolutely no um, you know no logic to save it early. So if you if you're even even on a slow push. You're still losing minions, so might as well be on the map as quickly as possible rather than save TP. I mean, what am I saving it for? It's not I mean, like I can... Okay, if I'm Silas, yeah. I'm tilted and I'm coming back to try and kill you. So the wave here, recall here. Okay, you like you, you like doing a little marathon before you recall. Yeah. Uh, that's something you need to stop because like that's just seconds of time wasted, right? Like you could be in base now. That's three seconds. He is last hitting these under tower. He's not gonna get this crashed. No way. Right. What do you buy here? Sheen, you have enough for a longsword. Why are you buying a refill? You're two and oh. Why are you not snowballing? Fuck him up. You know? Like you should be absolutely looking to punish him. Sheen like longsword gives AD. Sheen and longsword gives you Sheen proc plus the Sheen's well, by, Sheen gives you damage based on your AD, so buying longsword buffs your Sheen as well. Why are you wasting your money on this? Yeah. Yeah? Just a small thing. He's yeah, yeah, all fine. the way at tower. You have E. No need to TP back here. And I'll show you why, because I think later on... So, yeah, we were, you know, we're ahead. 
We have a ward. We put we when we got to lane, we instantly warded here. Why are we not warding down here? Yeah, we have a ward. Oh, there's Silas. We're chunks. We can now recall and TP back and be on full health and potentially 1v2. But now we're half health. That's what TP is for. TP is to be used when you're when you need to. You know, now you're half health, Silas is here, clearing your vision. Okay, you have poking sticking with the refill, yeah, okay. But Silas is still probably top side. Just uh, wait. I mean, at least we get every single last hit on the tower here. We have no reason not to Thanks get so. every single one here. One, two, three. Good. If we had alacrity, this is why I love alacrity as well. You, you you get every last hit. And attack speed is so good. You would have got that, you know. Okay, we shouldn't have missed any of those. Um, I know it might still not seem like anything, but, you know, it all adds up. Um, especially when we're playing 1 versus 0. He wasn't even trying to harass us on the tower there, right? Yep, no Silas problem. is mid. This guy's dead. Why are you running? Why are you, why are you, why are you letting him do that? He's dead. He has nothing. Oh uh, yeah, of course, it's left over there, yeah. You know, kind of... I think it does okay. it. Okay, good. This guy is the biggest griefer on the planet. And he even wasted Ignite, perfect. Okay, Wave's in a bit of a shit spot. We don't know where Silas is. Honestly, I would be tilted and I'd just try and shove this. Let's see what happens. Do we do we die to Silas? I think so. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully Silas isn't here. I think is it is he? I think we don't know his spot. Um. Yeah, this is just annoying when this happens because the champion is so shit at pushing waves. <laughs> but yeah, I would be pushing this as well. So. I... And to be honest, if Silas comes, I'm pretty sure we can kill him. At this point, we have ignite up. What are you doing? Why are you staying? If Silas was here now, then you would be dead. Yeah. That was, that was really greedy. I, 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 I think that actually did uh, die from that. I thought it was the GP. Um, but, yeah. You don't know where Silas is as well. No, and, and he hit six, so it was a good idea to record. Uh, yeah, for sure. I, okay. I would go Triforce here. Who is Tanky on their team? They have Caitlyn, Akshan, GP, Super Squish. Silas, yeah, it's probably good into Silas. But you're not going to be focusing on hitting Silas. You know, you want to be killing the GP or the Caitlyn or the Akshan. That's, they're your targets this game. All right? Because they're squishies. Um, you know, you're not wanting to focus on their front line. Especially when you're pissed fed. You want to be killing their back line, the DPS. Okay. Yeah. I would go Triforce here. Based on... It. Sundar into GP alone is not bad. Triforce is probably better just into GP. But based on their team comp, it's 100% a Triforce angle. Um, we could have had TP there and not missed that wave. You know, like that's why you don't have to TP just because it's up. Um, okay, let's. They're fighting Silas in the jungle. Don't let this guy play the game. Giving him a lot of respect. So what I'd be looking to do here is build up a slow push into the tower dive. But I want I'd want to poke him out a little bit more and and, and pop, prop his bone plating before the tower dive. I think I do tower dive. I think it's just this is this is the play that started the kind of like the tilt journey for me. If you yeah, you, you see what happens. It's, uh, okay. it's a portal. In, right? yeah. yeah, with with Silas. Yeah. Uh, like if it was just part, maybe I could have got out and lived or something. But, yeah. but this, um, is, this is what I would have done. I would have done this. Um, we don't know where enemies are, you know, there was a big yeah. fight here, no one showing bot lane, no one showing mid lane. We have a ward, maybe we should be a bit actually, careful. Actually, like, 10 seconds before, Bart, I, th I think, showed mid lane, and then his icon I would just dive up. him here, I would just dive him here. Yeah, that's what I do, and then, and then I die. Okay, they're waiting there, you ulted way too early, but at least you kill. You know what, one for one, it's, it's not bad. That's not, that's fine. That's actually fine. I, I would have had the exact same outcome. I would have done the exact same thing. 
wouldn't have altered as early as I did, but that's fine. Well, I did dodge the battle with the ult, so that was that was pretty neat. Um, you know. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, wave's good. Wave is really fine. This guy is running it as like an ape. Bard style is probably still here. Why is this guy fighting us? He's either a retard or someone's here. We're taking free damage for no reason. Yeah, I, I took, took, took a, a minion instead of him. So. Do you have target champions only, Hockey? Uh, I, I'm trying to get used to it uh, a lot more, but I feel like I, I just need to work on mouse. Like what, what, so. is, what is your Hockey? Uh, Tilde. What's that? Tilde, the, the one oh, above Tilda. top. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I, I use I that have... and do you have um, mouse buttons on your mouse? Yes. I use that. Whenever I'm fighting, I just it's so easy for me to just hold my mouse button. Like, it's literally on my mouse. I'm clicking on them, and I just hold the mouse button with my thumb. It's like my thumb's not doing anything. It's so easy. Like, and I set it as both of them, so I can even press either of them, and it'll work, you know? Like, oh, I can wow. press one or the other, and it works. Like, so whenever I'm oh, fighting, wow, I'm just holding that mouse button, and it doesn't, it's, I don't have to... You know, look for tilde, press tilde, or press any key on my keyboard. I can focus on my abilities with my left hand, and my mouse is still for clicking. Like mouse button. Oh I, wow, that I, I never thought of that. That's actually a, that's actually really useful. Yeah, I'll have to kind of relearn it, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I it's taking time to relearn, right? I wouldn't have gone in here. This is a huge wave. We're missing that uh, three CS, four CS, five CS, six CS. Okay, we just lost six CS to Q two him. You know? Yeah, yeah. I felt like if I had focused on last hitting, he was going to harass me a lot more. Oh, it doesn't matter. You're recalling here anyway. You're recalling and TPing for Kindle Gem. What? Ooh, was... what are you selling this? Why are you selling your D Shield? Your D Shield is a really good item, especially against GP. For Tab Eyes, why are you delaying your item spike? Why does Camille want to need Tab Eyes into a GP who's 0 3? Yeah, that was just about it, but. Uh, that you, goal. You're yeah. losing to Shopkeeper. You get the earlier you get Sunderer or a Triforce, the quicker your item spikes. The quicker your champion yeah. spikes. Champions uh, Camille's one item power spike, I think it's probably one of the strongest in the game, except for Irelia's Blade of the Ring King. I think it's probably one of the strongest spikes in the game. Tab eyes, you're showing him way too much respect. They don't even have a fed AD jungler. If they had a fed AD jungler who was camping top, fair. They have Silas, for God's sake, you know? Like, you don't need this. Sounds like eventually. Uh, Taipei will work out really well against Action and GP, but yeah. That I mean, was eventually, still but why? Why now? Why are you? Why are you delaying your spike? You could have. You could snowball so much harder if you had your item earlier. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, E in here. I would want to freeze this wave. He has no TP. He is. From this point on, you just stand here. He is fucked. He is not farming anything now. Yeah. Okay, we still just about have a freeze. It was lucky it didn't crash. I'm hoping we freeze this here. I think we do, yeah. by the looks of it. Yeah. Bard's mid right now. Don't know where Silas is, but they've just done Drake. We're autoing it a bit too much. Yeah, Silas is top. He's helping push the wave. Yeah, he had to. That's fine. That was going to happen regardless. Right. So Silas is top side. Bard was mid. Bard is still mid. Are you gonna die? Did Bard die? No, Karnik dies. Maybe? I won't be pushing here. You killing just one minion? I know I know you're like um I know it's gonna slow push anyway, but you killing just one minion there increases you know how quick it's gonna push because it, these minions are tanky. I see, yeah. Like I reckon Silas is still top. Bard could be running top. Uh who's that? I mean Akshan's yeah, we know Akshan's mid. But now our wave's fucked. Instead of the instead of the wave being fucked here, the wave would be fucked here. You know? It's like it's a small difference, but it's a, like it's actually a big difference. Instead of having yeah, to last it under here, you're last it in here. You're you know. You can be out, yeah. 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 And they've just done the Even worse, disaster. Now we really can't touch our wave. We can't even stand in XP range. At least we could stand in XP range before. Yeah. Okay. Small things again. So we have. The, why do we yeah. have the exact same CS as GP? We're five and one. Why do we have the exact same farm? Fair enough if he was playing Scion, where he's just farming and passive, which is just really irritating. But like, why do we have the same farm as him? 
Man, we didn't have Tabai today. We have Sundra, and we can probably one v two. Camille was that good with Sundra. I'm sure you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, that GP doesn't have damage right now. Yeah, Ignite might fuck you a little bit, but you Ignite Silas early. You can watch him. Two levels on him with Ignite. At least GP trolls and pushes a wave. This is this is the the play that really kind of. I don't know why we're not freezing this here. GP. Okay, so what could we have done to prevent it? So let's go back here a little bit. GP trolls by one, not freezing the wave, two, letting you freeze the wave. And you say, don't worry, GP, I'm going to troll as well. I'm not going to freeze either. <laughs> you, could have, you could have had this, this wave frozen here, you know. You say this is what starts to tilt. I'm guessing Bard comes or, si or something happens. Yeah, both of them, them come over here. And I, and I don't love them. I don't go to work. But you could, have just, you could have just stayed here. You could have had the wave here forever. They, they're not going to kill you there. They're not sure enough to I dive do, you. I we do, see, I, look, I we think... see both of them running top here. Yeah, so I didn't I didn't actually notice that at the time. And I didn't think that they would actually come and... Because wave is near my, my turret, so it didn't make any sense for them to gank whatsoever. Right, unless they're three-man but... diving. That's a totally normal thing to do. <laughs> but we not, see them not, running. Not... We see them running. Where are yeah. we running? Oh, we've wasted our E. Oh, we've ulted in. Oh, we're trolling. Yeah, that was that was just your bad there. That wasn't. And then you say, "What is this?" You basically saw them on top. Was... I thought it was I thought it was safe, honestly. I thought it was but safe because I know uh, I, I know that, my I know it's like plat, and maybe GP would have stood here regardless. But you got to think: is is he baiting? Why why is the zero five GP standing here? Or why is why is the GP that's piss weeks contesting a you know five and one Camille? Like surely he wants me to. You know, he's trying to get me to engage on him. But at the very least, you should have seen him come up here, you know. Um, so that was your bad. And then we lose a tower yeah. for it. You know, yeah, I don't do a top. We probably wouldn't lose a tower without that. We're giving GP... We're letting GP in the game. We're behind CS and GP. He's going to reach his item before us because we trolled and built tower wise. Kha'Zix is just piss griefing. Nice. But th that wouldn't have happened if you weren't dead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, it's so. weird, right? Kha'Zix would not have been a monkey if you weren't dead. Um... Right, it's a long game, so if you if you want to stick to skip the parts that you that, you know were kind of fun, like yeah, we'll uh, yeah. I don't mind going over a little bit. Okay, that's what happens. What happens here? Wave wave is pushing into you. So you. I think I saw I saw Silas here. I saw him on the on the wards and the river like ten seconds before. Yeah. I saw him move. And then I, for some reason, in my mind, I thought that he had somebody else's ult and that he could ult me. And so that's why I walked back. Okay, and but, I was just, I was just, but the, tip, the, the tip with uh, against Silas. God, it's such a long game, it's hard to get to the right point. Um, you know, you can't leave your ult. Don't waste your E. He, he ults, he clearly ults you first, and then you throw your E. You get, you get in nowhere. You know, wait, you could probably tank this, wait this, delay with your ult, and then now you'd have E, and now you E out, and you're not going to die, yeah? I see. Okay. Um, you know, if, if you ever get Camille ulted by Silas, just save your E. Well, unless you're going to kill him. Save your E to yeah. E out. But if, obviously, if you can kill him, and then you you know you want to E onto him and kill him. But we should, we're, we're at yeah. 90 CS at 16 minutes. We should be pissed ahead. With our lead, we got we killed too early. We had double buff. We should be so ahead of this. Um, we die again here. What happens here? Okay, Bard and oh. Silas again. The gang squad. Oh, I mean, as unlucky, you know, it could have been a one for one. That's just annoying. Overextending without a tower. Yeah. You, know, you don't have a tower. You've got to be respectful, especially when they have a fucking Bard. The champion is really annoying to play against. Bard's like my second main. I don't know if you remember. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. So random playing Camille and Bard, but uh, yeah, I want to them both. Um, yeah. I mean, we're we're pushing. We know exactly what's happening this game. We're getting perma three man through Bard portals. There's no plates to take. Let's just not push. Let's freeze. It. Let's freeze here. Let's have a happy day. We're winning still. Let's just let's just have an easy game and freeze. Now we're slow pushing it back to him. If you were looking to roam mid there, fine, not the end of the world. 
but you don't. And now you're like, you're like on edge. You're like a bit scared here. You're like, yeah, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you don't know if, are these guys planning on running top? What's going on? Insta recall here. Insta recall because they got Herald. So, I wouldn't have even hit that because now the enemy team sees that you could potentially be on a flank. It's pink warded. You could have run through this. I see, yeah, yeah, because it gives uh, five seconds of vision, right? So. Yeah, they saw you through here as well. And, well, she didn't clear yeah. that one for some reason. Um, no, no, I don't think I actually saw that. I, I would have, I would have, I would have not cleared this. I would have run, run through here. They would have no idea that I'm coming. But they potentially could be pinging that you're, you know, you're around. This is really good for you guys. Oh, early, nice. Okay, yeah, as long as. Oh, Lux damage. Jesus. Yeah, what's the fourth one? Crazy. Okay, probably didn't need to ignite, especially because he just W'd, but it's fine. This is not going to kill you. Kha'Zix, I don't know why it wasn't, he wasn't running top, but that's fine. You get rid of his Magi's. Uh, that was, won't well, talk about that. Um, <laughs> I love this map. These plants are so fun. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'd like to think that my mechanics is okay. Uh, for for a bot map, uh, like at, at the same time, I get some of these games are just like. Yeah. I mean, I, you're winning I... lane, but you could definitely like. I would like your mechanics on the chat. Yeah, are fine, but this, like, like the, there's macro obviously, which is unrelated, but there's lane mechanics. Your lane mechanics aren't aren't good, and you can fix your lane mechanics. You're easily gonna get diamond. You know, like diamonds, not they're not that good, but. There's so many times where you should just, even just by deciding not to push a wave, by choosing to freeze a wave here, you know, like a lane here, that would save you so many issues. Yeah. It would save you death, it would give you more CS, it would make their top laner have even less farm. Like, you know how Baus plays, you know, he, he will just go and die for the wave because he realized how important CS is. But he can do yes. that sign because he can farm in passive. No other champion can do that. You know, if they die for the yeah. wave, they're dead. And you get gold and they don't get the wave. Or yeah. they're going to be standing there, not dying, not getting the wave. You're just feeding them endless waves, endless waves. Yeah, sometimes diving them, but you're still feeding them waves. Yeah. Um, Makes, sense. Makes sense. Your team's on dragon, so I'd be... You, you haven't even clicked over once. You're seeing enemies start to come. I'd at least have a look at what's going on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Nice. Lux damage again, perfect. Good. Game's game's over here. Game is won. Okay, perfect. You guys just won the game. Should not be losable at this point. And you get Baron. Game should not be losable at this point. Where is Lux running? I don't know where Lux is running. Your whole team is recording what she's doing. She's probably dead. Um, I yeah, think she's... we lose because Kha'Zix hints twice. And it's a 45 and then we just lose. Uh, and that, that's later on. That's like... But you could have, I'm sure you could have won before that happens multiple times. Did they, they nerf, yeah, they nerfed Hydra, right? I swear it used to be 3,200. Oh no, they, they, they increased the price because of the, you know, because of the cleave uh, buffs and the omni uh, yeah, yeah. buffs. And, yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of crazy how powerful this item is at the moment. Yeah, everyone's rushing it. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Run bot, match GP. Look to kill him. We have ult. I would, I would want to kill him. Get him off the map. We have Baron. Um, I couldn't explain how he managed to keep up in CS and levels, etc. when I put him so far behind. Well, you're yeah. missing CS. You're not freezing. You died like three times. You know, just because you kill him, he's still, he's still getting waves and XP. Uh, you got three-man ganked several times, so they played strong side for him. Um... And if I was there, Kate, and I'd be really tilted that we're playing a strong side, but my GP's still, like, behind. But, yeah, he at least he gets the farm and he makes the most of it. Why do we have an Executioners, by the way? Uh, GP and Sales. Well, uh, why GP? GP is not worth it. You kill him. One, he has one heal every 20 seconds. You kill him with or without the heal. Second, you have Ignite if you're all in him on the side. Silas, yeah, we're not focusing on hitting Silas. So, in team fights, we're jumping on the back line. We're killing Caitlyn. We're killing Akshan. We're killing maybe even GP. We're killing Bar, you know, like Silas is going to be on your front line. He's going to be looking to, no, he's sorry, he's going to be doing the same, jumping on your back line. 
if you were four and nine and you were weak and you were trying to and you had a really fat AD carry and you were trying to peel the AD carry, yeah, go go with healing reduction because you want to try and help kill them and keep your AD carry alive. But you're you're not playing that role. You're so fed. You're trying to kill them. This gives you no value into Caitlyn, no value into Akshan, very little value into GP. You also have Ignite, which does the same job. If you you know, um, don't delay your okay. tour, you know you're very fed. You want your Ravenous Hydra ASAP. Why are you 800 gold and not buying it? Yeah, yeah. yeah makes sense. Um, okay, your team kills here, which is good. Okay, I like the fact that you push the tower here with Ash. Where's Ash going? Yeah, no, no. Okay. Three dead, three dead, so I think we should actually get the tower. Yep, nice tower to take. You would have Ravenous. Okay, I get you, you, yeah. you get this, you get Ravenous anyway. But... Yeah. Okay, I'd recall and I'd run straight back bot. I started thinking a lot more about recalls and items, but at the same time, when you're pushing it, that way today, it feels like my recalls are really suboptimal. Like yeah. two months ago, it used to be a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, yeah, okay. You just got to think about your, you know, Camille, you know how item spikes, one item very good, two items really good, three items is godlike. Um, yeah. This is not worth it. GP is not worth your items. Caitlyn, Akshan, Akshan's a focus because he's a fed one. He's the DPS right now. You know, he does the most DPS. You want to kill him. He doesn't need healing reduction. Then I'll jump into Caitlyn because she's probably positioned near Akshan. And then we're going to look for Silas, you know, at the end of the fight. We're not starting a fight on Silas unless we're picking him. But if we're finding a random pick, that's not worth it. I go Death Dance here. Just spending a lot of time in base, cool. undecided. But I'm not sure about that. I'd go Death what? Dance. I'd buy a pickaxe because I'm ahead. I want all my damage. I'm really ahead. I wouldn't go... Oof. Okay, I I mean, okay, again, what I would do, we're looking to, who's who's fed on their team? Akshan and Silas. Akshan and Silas. Akshan, uh, Akshan's our focus, we're killing him. I, I know he's only one AP, but imagine we killing Akshan and then we have more. How are we ever going to die this game? Their Caitlyn doesn't do damage. The Silas is the only one that does damage, and if we're building magic resist for just Silas, one, that's going to tilt Silas, two, he's definitely not going to focus you. Like, you're giving yourself a lot of stats, and also the Omnivamp stat that it gives is really good. I know Sterex got buffed, but I, I don't think this game is even going to get to that point, and more is a much cheaper item than Sterex. Um, Interesting, okay. Yeah. Like, I didn't think about that. You have to think about, like, who's going to be, who, like, the focus of who you're hitting, and I'm not saying it's good if they have one AP, because it's not, but when their AD threats are really weak, and their AP threat is fed, then it's good. Should I have TP there? No. What's that? Should I have TP there? No, your team is looking. stomping. No, no, no. I would even I wouldn't even go for bard here. Keep pushing bot and hit that bot tower. That bot tower should be you should be at that bot tower with this wave. <laughs> what are you TP they're TPing five meters? And, uh, I think I think to help Ash push. That's that's that was done. What's this TP for? I'll either be hitting this tower or actually I'm saying TP top so he he gets denied. You can't end here. Uh, Silas is okay. up in 20 seconds. There's no way you're going to end here. Ash would get this tower with or without you. Ash would get this in here with or without you. You could have either had this tower or saved this tower. Presumably this one goes. Yeah, this tower goes. You could have saved that tower or at least traded with a 600 gold tower down here. Okay. These towers are worth so much money. 600 gold? Yeah, yeah. yeah 600, yeah. I'll want that 600 gold all to myself, please. Ash is running hey, down. Wait, Ash, I assume Ash, does Ash snipe the gold? Maybe not. Yeah. Ash comes as. What do you mean she helps you? You didn't need that help. She just came and yoinked half the gold. Uh, still, still lots of, lots of gold for the team overall, so not too bad. Yeah, but you wasted TP. Yeah. Why TP? Drake's coming up. Why waste TP? Yeah, yeah. Didn't think about that at all. I'd be going Death Dance third here as well. I, I, I really like Death Dance third, unless they have Fed AP, then more third. Um. I'd always go Death Dance third over Sterex because I just think the item is really broken. Yeah. Um, and if we, you know, if we don't waste eight hundred gold here, we're eighteen hundred gold. We're halfway to a Death Dance. Probably likely to complete Death Dance before the game ends. But now we're we're building ten different components at once. I would oh, agree please like don't much. say we go for this. 
No, we don't need this. I would have really liked to stop watch ahead of the dragon fights. Uh, but yeah, stop watch. Yeah, a stop watch for objective. I like that. I do that. I don't like going for a completed whatever this item is. We don't have TP now. We can't TP to this fight because we entered our TP. Yeah, Silas is dead. So doesn't matter. That's... Your team still looks like they're losing. They picked up Ash. So that's great. Okay, thank God that guy dies. Oh, she should die. She flash. Wasted ignite. Okay. Oh, I imagine we have TP now. We TP at end. Silas is up in five. They have no in here. Silas can't contest you. You can probably bait him to kill him, to kill, like for you to kill him. Or at the very least, you take one tower with your TP here. See that. You take one Nexus tower here with your TP, a hundred percent. Yeah, we're going a bit over, but I just want to see where, how we lost this game. Um, how did Kha'Zix die? I think die? it's a really, bad, a really bad recall that I do uh, later on when I'm at the top side. Ah, okay, so so he takes about about the note and ends. Yeah, Kha'Zix ends here. Okay, annoying, that's fine, whatever. Fuck it, game's still easily won. They can't take Baron because we're alive. Four, t four of us are alive. We had a fed Lux and a fed Camille and a fed Ash. Everyone's fed. We can't. They can't do Baron. This is fine. Just babysit the hell out of this Ash because she's running like a lunatic. I'm trying to show her as much as I can. Oof. That was Silas damage. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe so a death more, dance or more. You know, more, right? more, might have been a good, a good idea, yeah. But the point is, this item is worthless. There's no point getting this. Don't. Yeah, okay. You, know, you have ignite as well. Good. We should kill Bart here. I think I'm. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm... okay. You're very indecisive there. So you got one kill. Yeah. How do just, I skip this? Just E up. Just fucking get out of here. E up. Okay. Just E up here, get out. They have one person here, you have two people here. Uh, so yeah, you E up, you're, there's no way you die here. Now it's rough because they might look for Baron because we just lost two members. Our jungler's up. What do they do? Do they get Baron here? No, they don't. They have a fight and somehow our team clutches. Two for one in our favor. I haven't really talked much about bounties. Uh, What's that? I mean, we haven't really talked much about bounties because a lot of the times when you know I feel like in those games I do get quite a bit of a bit of a lead and then I do get a bounty but then I you know I int over the bounty so yeah that's annoying when, when you, yeah when you have a when you have a big bounty do you adjust face down in a way I mean it depends on you know do you have a big bounty and are you three levels four levels ahead of the AD carry. Are you, do you have a big bounty and you're the same level as their mid and AD carry? You know, if you're if you're a big bounty and you're still piss ahead in XP and you can 1v2, 1v3, right, go crazy. Don't int, but don't be scared. If they're if they have really strong members of your team that you have of enemy team that you really don't want to get the bounty, then yeah, you play conservative and you play away from them and you push your lead elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Um Okay, they're on Baron. Oof, wow, your luck's all. Okay, they got Baron. That's unlucky. Not the end of the world. None of them get it. They're all dead. They all died for it. Everyone was dead when Baron came up. When when they yeah. when they took it, that so no none of them get Baron. Yeah. They get gold XP, which is annoying. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> He should have died there. Okay, this looks like a big fight. Okay, you have three dead. Not even worth going for this fight. They're not going to win off this Drake. Bro, you have Death Dance here instead of this shit item. You 1v2 that easily. I see, yeah. You know, but I wouldn't have even gone for this fight. You know, you have two dead. Them getting one Drake's not going to change the impact of the game. You know, you're giving them comebacks yeah. until they get. How does this game go on for another fucking 10 minutes? Okay, 
Yeah, we still don't have Death Dance or a Sterex or a Morph. We don't have any, like this item is doing nothing for us. We don't want to hit Silas. This is the guy, this is the guy we want to hit. What's this item doing for him? There we go. Death Dance, we get the heal, we're alive. After killing yeah. him. We have open nexus. Jesus. This should not have happened this way. How did we die? Yeah. Yeah, you were so ahead and you just you died so many times for no reason. Uh, stop watching to Caitlyn, it's really annoying. I I think I I think I make a nice play here because actually I'm trying to fight the but it doesn't save the game. Yeah. Okay, nice. Wasting E. Oh, wasting. Oh, we know that Caitlyn's in it. Yeah. Thank God Lux hit her out. Yeah, I mean. At least they both died. That was very risky by you. But. Kha'Zix again dead. Again, like, apparent. Yeah, but. Kha'Zix inting a few times here. Yeah. You're focusing Silas here. You know, one person was saying well, he's not the person we want to be focusing. Yeah. But, if, yeah. Um, I mean, the biggest thing for me is your wave management and your items. You're, you know, you like, focus on your item spikes. Kamal's item spikes are huge. Don't waste it on fucking... Bro, I don't buy, like, I don't know if we can see my, like, I haven't played for a while. Like, this is the account that I just got. Like, I started playing, I got to Masters before season ended and stopped playing. Um, I haven't played for a month. But I don't buy it. Let's find a long game. 33 minutes. Come on. I completed boots after two items. Like this one. So that's 15 minutes completing boots there, but that was after two items, right? Why did I complete my boots here? I don't think I even... After, after Sunder and Tiamat, yeah. Sunder and Tiamat, okay, I got it here because... Yeah, but that's because I had a heavy auto attack champion that I read it that I was against. Um, let's look at this one. Oh yeah, okay, this is a 10 minute game. I didn't even complete boots. You know, like, I'm not... I don't like boots. Your champion is so mobile, you don't need boots. And if you're winning, you don't need the defensive stats that the boots give. You want more damage to purple kill them. Why are you showing respect? 15 okay. minutes again. After two items, you know. Like. Uh, yeah, it makes sense, man. Makes sense. Yeah, I'll try and incorporate that in my in my play. Like, your item spikes are so big. Even if I'm losing a game against... I think, what's this game? I've My team won, but I was... 25 minutes! I bought boots at 25 minutes. Again, after yeah. two items. After two items tends to be the thing. But, yeah, this is my favorite Grasp Room page. You get oh, attack, you attack speed. speed? Yeah. You get the attack speed? Bro, I love... I don't like Grasp in general. I run Conqueror most of my games, unless it's like a, a Fura. Um, but I run Conqueror all the time. Aatrox, I really are. Uh, okay, well, this time I really I didn't. I don't know why. But Malphite... I really, oh, there you go. Conquer, you know, I run Conquer all the time. Um, I just think it's so, you know, and the way that you seem to play is you all in a lot, you know, you're, you're not playing grass to its potential of Wing and poking as much as you should. I know so many times your grass was up and you're just not utilizing it. Um, mm -hmm. You have a very all in play style, which is fine because I like that as well. I do that. Um, but that's why Conquer is better. If you're all inning, you know, I like grasp into. Champions where I'm not going to win an all-in against. Trindabir, I'm not going to win an all-in against. Gragas, I can't all-in because most of the time they go phase rush and they'll just I can bomb you and sprint out. So, you know, at least trade with the grass proc because you're not going to all-in with Conqueror. Um, yeah, yeah. Who else? Fiora, again, like, I, I like grass with Fiora because, you know, she's going to queue you, but at least you can trade with the grass queue. Um, but, but, yeah. I mean, do you have... We are almost half an hour over, but do you have like any like questions before we finish? 
No, uh, it's been really, really helpful. I just need to kind of, uh, kind of think about all of this and absorb it and try and incorporate it. It's going to take a, a long time, but, uh, you know, I used to be my best experience with Camille and that my best time climbing was when, uh, season 11 was at towards the end and the, the new items had, um, or was S10? No, when was, when were the new items implemented, like Divine Center, etc. Was it last season, the season before? I can't remember, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. You so, so, you know, old Triforce, uh, kind of Conqueror play, play style, all in, uh, all out brawl, uh, you know, that, that was my favorite time to take on L. She was really strong back then as, as, as well, but, you know, that's the kind of play style that I got used to, and then the grass method took over, and that really had trouble adjusting to it ever since, because I just don't play Camille as a grass, uh, you know, folk champion so much. And so, yeah, yeah so, you know, it, it's been a pretty tough uh, journey for me, but most of the time if I, because the change in, with dragons and everything, it actually forces you to group a lot more now, right? Yeah. And team fights. And, and with Triforce, I feel like it's either my mechanics are not up to part through team fights, or I feel like a lot of the time, especially in party law, uh, the team fights are just a flip. So, if I want to consistently win games, uh, I feel like I just need to get the lead and split. Team fights are a flip unless you play it properly. Well, yeah, that, I, I think I'm not at that level. You waste, you waste your TP a lot. TPing behind yeah. for a flank with you buy a sweeper, you buy TP, you buy TP, you use TP. You know, like so good, so good. I mean, yeah. I've got a few laning videos here against certain champions. I don't know which ones I've got. I've got like Garen, Fiora. Renekton, maybe an Irelia, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, yeah. like, have, 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 have some practice with what we've said. Like, really yeah. focus on your item spikes. Focus on last hitting. Last hitting is the most important thing. And focus on freezing. I promise you'll get diamond if you can if you can do that. Um, I'll show you something. Um, if I can, if I can get the link to it. League of Graphs. There's a, there's a really nice um, website called League of Graphs, which shows you which matchups um, you are you have a positive win rate on, uh, and which matchups you're struggling with. So, uh, hold on. Look which matchups this. do you struggle uh, with? Which matchups do you uh, do you know you struggle with? Well, I, I just posted something in chat, so I'll show you. Uh, if you go to to the bottom of the page uh, and kind of look at versus, right? Yeah. You struggle with uh, Fiora. They, yeah, Fiora is like 40%, but then look, some, some of those match Shen, 38.5%, which is really low. Shen the Mir, 40%. Uh, Nar, Timo, Sion, which is, I find that really odd, but I, I, guess, I guess I'm just playing versus Sion. Sion is like means. one of Camille's easiest matchups. Mm. I know, I'm not supposed to be losing. I hate game. Timo, I despise this champion. Sion yeah, is Timo a very easy good. matchup. Yeah, supposed to be, but I, I just can't, for some reason, can't, can't make it. I can't make it work, even though I, I know for a fact that I'm actually winning lane against those, those champions, but I'm losing the game. So it's, it's possibly because, you know, of what, what we talked about today, you know, macro and uh, wave manipulation and kind of like better TPs, etc. So that's that's really, really useful. Yeah. I mean, you should be I having, you should be having a lot more them. farm, uh, like a lot more farm when you're winning lane. Like, yeah. If you're getting yeah. bullied and you're getting really bullied and focused, fair enough, your farm is expected to be low. But when you're stumping, you should have so much more farm. You should be reaching your power spikes earlier, and you should just be obliterating the game. That's what champ like the champion is good for. So like same with any bruiser, yeah. you know. Yeah. But, but it's, it's it's really interesting that the matchups that they really used to struggle with, such as uh, Mordekaiser, Darius, uh, Aatrox, look at the win win percentages on there. You know, so I I guess if and focused on these matchups so much that I've kind Aatrox of let the really other ones. Aatrox is a really easy one for Camille as well. I, I, I think, I think, I, I found it really hard, uh, especially after the durability patch. Um, yeah, maybe because I'm not running Conqueror into him, but Grasp. Yeah, into, uh, just... God, it tilted me so much, bro. I've, I'm seeing these world players play Camille into Aatrox, like, as counter pick, and they're playing Grasp. And I'm like, you're not going to win a poke matchup against Aatrox. You go in for a poke, you're going to get hit by three Qs on your way out. You're all in him, you can sidestep, you can move everything, you know, like, um, yeah. But yeah. Have a try with it. You know, like the worst thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna lose. But keep practicing. Like, it's fine. yeah, definitely. I think even if I drop uh, some elo just uh, for the sake of improving on my learning mechanics, I said, oh man, this has been so useful, like eye opening.
this is not our only session, I promise. So if you're up for more, I'm, I'm definitely... Yeah, man, for sure. I mean, I definitely recommend, pra like, have a practice with what we've said. Like, give it some time and then reach out again. Like, um, yeah, obviously, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down for it, of course. Um, yeah, but... uh, maybe maybe in a few weeks. Uh, yeah, for sure. Something when, yeah, I'm, for when, sure, bro. when I'm seeing some, some sort of uh, improvement where I can get those fundamentals down and I can, we can catch up again. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, just hit me up if you want to... If you if you want more, that's fine. Thank. And how about uh, what what about that video that you recorded? Um, how can I access it? Just I'll, so... I'll upload it to YouTube and I'll send you the link. Oh, fantastic! Thank you so much. All right, bro. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Well done. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.